OK, let's have another guest now. Dapper Dave, who are we talking to? What do a former Yugoslavian mother, Brexit and the secret back streets of London have in common? Well, according to our next guest, Christmas. Woo-hoo! His new movie, Last Christmas, is out in cinemas this Friday. And here to deck the halls with bowels of jolly is the cinematic Santa Claus himself, director extraordinaire, Paul Feig. Good morning, hello, 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 Paul. Hello. How are you today? I'm great, Chris. How are you? I'm very well. It's the morning after the premiere the night before. Tell us about that. You know what? It was great. We were out at uh, the BFI, right on the Thames. I uh, had a great time. Time. Everybody showed up, the whole cast and everybody. And Kylie Minogue showed up. My friend Kylie came too. So uh, it was great having everybody out there. Okay, was the boss there, Emma? Yeah, oh yeah, Emma was there. Dame Emma. Dame yeah. Emma Thompson. She all was right. there in all her royal purple. So tell us about about, about you and she and uh, this whole project. When did when did you first hear about uh, a, a script potentially an, uh, an Emma Thompson, Dame Emma Thompson pen script called Last Christmas? Yeah, about a year and a half ago she sent it to me. We were supposed to do a movie called uh, Late Night. I was supposed to direct that with her, but then the the schedules didn't work out. Well, we became very friendly when we were getting that together and said, we have to work on something. We love each other. And then she sent me this script out of the blue. She'd been working on it for about eight years, uh, developing it. And uh, it was just so great. I had to do it. Okay, now I haven't seen it. The team have seen it, so I don't know how much snow is in it. (laughs) It's very important for a Christmas movie. Tell us about the snow factor. Uh, Only at the end. There's only snow at the end uh, (laughs) because we don't see snow anymore in London. It takes place in London on all the best-looking locations here. We shot on like Regent Street and Covent Garden and Piccadilly Circus. We, we we did it all in the middle of the night, too. It was freezing cold. Right. I then, should have taken cold showers. Okay. I didn't <laughs> you didn't need to. <laughs> now, I, I've, I've asked various directors about how, you know, how, what is, how do they make their snow? And apparently in True Lies, where there's lots of snow, this mm. Schwarzenegger movie, that was mostly salt. What was, your, what was your snow? Ours was this kind of foamy thing. They have these machines and they blow this kind of light foam that goes Which all over disappears. the place. Which disappears. Yeah, it lands on you and it, it disintegrates. <laughs> but we had like one one shot where um, Amelia Clark, she's in the snow and it looks really pretty. It's this light snow and then this one big glob lands on her head and it won't like dissipate. So we had to go in and digitally take it out. As you entered the studio, uh, Sam Pinkham exited. Now you may not have seen him, but <laughs> Sam does the show before us and does the show when we're not here and he's a great guy. And um, we have this competition at the moment called 12 Schools of Christmas. So uh, ah. schools can, can send us a recording, a, a song, a Christmassy thing. It can be something that, that exists or they can have made it up. And to, to give them an example of maybe what we expect or what we'd like or to inspire them with some ideas generally, uh, we've been asking various presenters and various people who work around the building to, to do one and Sam did his and he his kids are on it and the cute factor basically the cutest kids will probably win the competition <laughs> and the prize is this show at their school for the last show of the last uh, That's fantastic. day of December so Friday the 20th now he said that directing his children mm. to sing this song uh, w- he thought it was fantastic then he listened to the outtakes back and it basically sounded like bullying he said, <laughs> and I said well that's because there's an art in direction <laughs> so, so can you how do you know how do you direct yours uh, well you know I mean you are kind of telling people what to do but I, I, I'm very much a hands off guy I kind of get out out of their way because the biggest part of my job is casting the right people. And right. Once I have them, and once you get the script right and set it up, then you go, "Hey, try it." And I always say, I'm basically like an audience member. I sit there, I have these monitors, so I'm watching what's happening. So I'm kind of watching the movie. But when other other people don't get to do when they watch a movie is go in and change it. So you're kind of watching, go like, "Oh, I wish this would happen." So you go and say it, and then it happens. <laughs> you know, and it's really fun to kind of see what actors do with a note. That you if give you them. do, yeah, I was gonna say, if you do have to tell somebody like Dame Emma Thompson or, or, or <laughs> Melissa McCarthy you've directed in Bridesmaids or, yeah. and you've done The Heat and you've done Spy and you did Ghostbusters 2016 which was a brilliant brilliant remake thank so, well, you they really was thank you because you, you fear the worst when you, you hope for the best yeah. but you fear for the worst when somebody somebody um, uh, so resurrects you, one of your favourite childhood yeah. franchises yeah. so bang on well done thank you Chris that but, means the world but when you've got when you've got to tell somebody like that how, how do, you, do you sit them down do you take them out for a meal <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk I take them away no no, you know what it is? I, I just like to get everything. So if somebody will, they'll have their ideas. I let them do that. Then it's like, oh, hey, try this. And and we kind of incrementally move them. I never go in like, that's all wrong. Try Because I've been wrong a million times. Like, you just get it. You have something in your head. But when you get to the editing room, sometimes the thing you thought was terrible is actually the great thing. So you have to get out of your head, get what you want, but then let them get what they need and all things in between. Then you have all these options in the editing room. Is it a party film, ultimately? 
It, it's 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 a life film. It's you laugh, you cry. Yeah. I mean, you go through a range of emotions in this movie, and that's what's so nice. But it's very very life affirming. And, and but uh, if you finish with the Ronettes version of Last Christmas, it's very upbeat. That's yeah. not that's not terrible. That's not the funeral march. No, is it? no, that's super fun. <laughs> and then the great thing though is we really end with an unreleased George Michael song that no one's ever heard right. uh, called This Is How that we got. They let us use the estate let yeah, us yeah, use. Yeah, so yeah. that plays over the entire end credit. So if you go stay through the end credits, you'll hear this amazing new song by George. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay, and um, talking of parties, uh, did you have an, a, an after premiere party? Last oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were over at Annabelle's. What? Well, you're doing all right. You That's why up... my voice is like uh, this. No, you look I, fine. I normally have soprano, actually. <laughs> and and where, where are you based? Uh, I'm everywhere. I mean, I, I'm L.A., New York, but London, we're actually, we, I think we're moving to London. I just got, I just got a five-year uh, extraordinary talent visa. From the British government. <laughs> Good so I'm one of you. I'm one of you, my <laughs> friends. Like, Thank what, you so much. And what are you going to do with that five years? Oh, I don't know. Work at Tesco or something. Anything slated next? Anything uh, yeah, I, I wrote my next movie. I'm just waiting to hear if the studio is going to let me do it. But it's a, it's a monster movie. All right, <laughs> Paul, lovely to meet you. It's you too, Chris. Thank you. I've been a fan ever since The Big oh, Breakfast. Thank you so I much. I miss The Big Breakfast. Well, um, <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. You too. Please come and see us again. Thanks for having All me on. Right, Thanks, Paul gang. Paul Feig. Uh, last Christmas in cinemas this Friday, hey. November 15th. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.